close your eyes and try to have the tenacity of that squirrel that keeps at it. <laughs> Focus on your breath. Oops, now be more tenacious than the squirrel. You've already got a sense of feeling centered right here, so focus on your breathing. Notice when you breathe in, where do you feel it? It doesn't necessarily have to be at the nose. It could be any place in the body where you have sensations that let you know. Now the breath is coming in. Now the breath is going out. Stay with those sensations and try to smooth them out. Try to figure out what kind of breathing feels best right now. Try long breathing for a while. Long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. There's lots of variety that's possible here. You're not stuck with just with what you've got. The Buddha talks about the breath as being part of what he calls the wind property in the body. And the wind property, like all the other properties in the body and the mind, is a set of potentials. In other words, it can be provoked in different ways. It can be encouraged in different ways. There's a lot you can do with it, so you're not just stuck with what you've got. It's like going into the kitchen. You open the door of the refrigerator and all you have are raw eggs. It may be what you wanted, it may not be what you wanted, but it's what you've got. But you're not going to eat the eggs raw. You take them out and you cook them. Then you can use your imagination to use all kinds of ways of approaching the eggs, making souffles, making scrambled eggs, making poached eggs, making eggs benedict, whatever. In other words, you're, as a meditator you learn skills in how to take the breath and make it really comfortable, really satisfying. And also skills in getting your mind to want to stay here. Part of it, of course, is if the breath feels good, it's a nice place to stay. And when you start thinking about the breath as the energy that keeps you alive, and keeps you healthy, it gets you more interested in making sure that the breath energy flows throughout the body. So it's not just at the chest or at the nose. Think of it going through the whole nervous system, waking up the sleeping parts of the body, soothing the aggravated parts of the body, making this a good place to be, knowing that you're also working for your own health. And you're working for the good of the mind because you are developing some good qualities inside. There's a quality of mindfulness, which means to keep something in mind, like keeping the breath in mind right now. Alertness, being alert to what you're doing and the results that you're getting. And ardency, you want to do this well. After all, it is your mind that you're looking after. As the Buddha said, the mind is the forerunner of all things. So if you want your life to be good, you have to train your mind to be good, because it has all kinds of potentials. It's not the case that we're just naturally good and our social conditioning, conditioning has made us bad. The mind has the potential for just about anything inside. Look at all the animal kingdom that came from different beings, minds, thinking about what would be a good way to live. All kinds of solutions come up. And even in just one person, you see the mind going in one direction, and then before you know it, it's gone in another direction. So the mind needs to be trained if you want to get some good out of it, which is why we bring it to the breath and keep it with the breath. Then when it's trained like this, then you can get lots of benefit from the mind. It doesn't become a traitor to itself. Because that's what happens all too often. We know that we want long-term happiness, but sometimes long-term happiness seems far, far away. So we go for the short fix, the quick fix, which ends up spoiling our chances for long-term happiness. We want to see why we do that. And we also want to put the mind in a position where it's less and less tempted to do that, which is why we create a sense of well-being with the breath. So today, what's in the refrigerator? You've got the breath. See what you can make out of it. But it has lots and lots of potentials. As the Buddha taught, it can take you all the way to awakening. So look into it. See where those potentials are and how you can develop them best.